Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to a new Rate Shadow Legends video. In this video, what I'm going to talk to you about is not just commenting about the drama between HH and Stu Gaming that's happening right now, or I the other way around Stu and HH because Stu started this. Uh, for a while, I wanted to just make a video to comment about this and what's happening there. But I thought it would be just for the views, but suddenly I remembered some things that nobody else mentioned till now. And this might have been the reason that Stu is specifically attacking HH, other than the obvious reason that he wants to get back with the bank. So let me just get into it. And to start telling you what's happening there, the background of what's happening and what I think caused this actually, uh, let's let's go back like almost a year ago. I'll tell you a couple of other older pieces of raid drama uh, that happened uh, probably in the past year. So almost a year ago, give or take, I don't remember the exact time, um, both Stu Gaming and BGE, Bionic, he's a content creator that stopped making content uh, for raid a while back, they both showed a tool software that players use to cheat inside the game but to do this they showed the players how to actually use that cheating engine i think it was called cheat engine because of that specific piece raid banned both of them stu gaming and bge from the content creator program for a month to be reviewed bge went uh, um, on youtube and officially apologized to plarium and because of this, he got back into the content creator program. Of course, still there was some bitterness there, and a couple of months later, he just left the game. Stu never apologized. He said, I've done nothing wrong. It's his point of view. It's his right. Um, I partially agree with him on that older piece. And then because of this, Plarium never allowed him back into the content creator uh, program. There was a lot of bitterness there. And a few months later, when Diablo Immortal came, uh, came out, he just decided to stop making content on Raid and said he'll never go back to Raid and how bad the game is. Now he wants to get back and go back to it. So that's the oldest piece of uh, drama there. The piece that came three months ago is exactly what I think the reason Stu is attacking HH right now. And who brought my attention to it was actually DM, Darth Microtransaction. He grows on you. He's this guy, he's very entertaining. I love him. But what happened is, this is the original um, HH video from three months ago. What happened is that, and I'm not getting into the details of it, I'm just saying that HH gave access to the test server to part of his team, the HH gaming uh, team and staff, and because of this, he got banned from the test server for two cycles, and that's his video explaining... Um, that this happened and he won't be able to share information from this server and him explaining his point of view on why this happened so that's a different piece i'm not getting into it but that all links to what i'm getting to right now and then of course dm he likes to comment hilariously on everything and give his opinion he got very good opinions on uh, stuff like this including what's happening right now he shared this video and showed what hh was talking about and then he, of course, said with his opinion whether he's right or wrong and all of that. All of this is okay. I think the problem is comes near the end of the video, probably at 28 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, so let me go here. And let's skip the gaming ad. And... Okay, this is the piece. I never noticed it when I watched the initial HH video, but DM brought my attention to it and he might brought Stu or other people attention to it as well. It was a bit hilarious at the time, but let's listen to it and then we'll continue. To. Think about the fact that, you know, I've got people that are employed uh, at HH Gaming that make a living out of this game. We're not gonna go kind of Stu Gaming crazy on this. I just wanted to share really what's going on. Um, and I am, it's left like an absolute bitter taste for me, um, but it is what it is. I'm Hell Hades. <laughs> I'm banned. He actually said later. it, dude. Oh my God, he said it. Okay, so you heard what, what was said there. 
And the referral here was that for that older piece of drama when Stu just decided to stop playing the game and he went, uh, he, he never compromised. It was a great game. He was doing great content on it, but that's what H8 was referring to here, here uh, was referring to here. And this might have been what stirred Stu uh, to go against him right now and attack him. Because if H8 started three months ago saying, I won't go Stu gaming crazy on this, then it's a bit of a reason. Again, just to make my position clear, nothing justifies what Stu gaming is saying right now. This is a bit low and a bit personal, and it might even be unethical to go into this area. Uh, I don't agree with anything that he said in that video. We're, we're all adults, we know what we're getting into, nobody's forcing us to do anything. And we know quite well, quite well who HH is, what areas he's covering, what games he's covering, and that this is his business, including sponsorships. So I'm in no way justifying what Stu is doing right now, and I completely disagree with him uh, on what he's doing, but I'm just saying this might have been the trigger. What HH said three months ago, and DMs <laughs> highlighting it in his funny way. So anyway, that was my share in the drama that's happening now. Please like and comment and subscribe on the channel. And if you're just here for the drama, but if you like the video, please check a couple of others on the channel and subscribe and you'll see more. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.